In this video, we are going to be looking at how you can estimate the median using the interpolation formula. There are various ways you can estimate the median in probability and statistics. Whenever we are looking at ungrouped frequency distribution, it's quite easier to estimate the median after arranging the frequency distribution in ascending order. But whenever you are looking at a grouped frequency distribution, it becomes a little bit challenging and there are different ways you can estimate the median for a grouped frequency distribution. So we can use the cumulative frequency graph, we can use the histogram, and then we can use the interpolation formula to estimate the median of a grouped frequency distribution. So in this tutorial, we are going to be looking at how we can use the interpolation formula to estimate the median of a given distribution. And as it implies, instead of using a graph, a frequency distribution graph or an histogram we are going to be using a formula to estimate the median and to estimate the median the formula used is defined as me equal to l plus So, when I want to estimate the median, the interpolation formula is m e equal to l plus n over 2 minus f of c, all divided by f m multiplied by w. So now we are going to be looking at what each of these terms stand for, and we are going to be making sense of them. So the first one we have is the m e, which is simply the median. So you have that m e, that is the median of the distribution we are looking for. So we have the L, which is the term that we have here. So L is the lower boundary of the class containing the median. So when studying grouped frequency distribution, there are some terms that we are used to, which include the class boundary, the class width, the class size. So the L in this case is the lower class boundary of the class containing the median. So I'll just put that down. lower boundary so taking what each of these terms stands for we are going to be applying it in an example if we go back to the formula we also have n so n is simply the total frequency of our distribution. So going back to the formula, we have another term F subscript C. So F subscript 3 simply means the cumulative frequency before the median class. So this is the cumulative frequency of the class before the median class. We are going to be looking at how to calculate the cumulative frequency in an example also. Cumulative frequency. And we also have F subscript M from the formula. And this is simply the frequency of the class interval containing the median. So that's simply the frequency of the median class. And we have the last term in our formula, which is W. So, if you are used to frequency distribution for grouped data, W is usually the class size. So, 
after writing down what each of the terms stands for and taking note of the formula so I'm going to be using this formula to estimate the median using an example so we have an example here given the following data points we are to use the class intervals of 21 to 30, 31 to 40 to construct a frequency distribution table and then we have to identify the median class and estimate the median of the distribution so the first thing you have to do is to look at our data and turn it into a grouped frequency distribution and how can we do this? the first thing you have to do is to use the class interval which is very for us in the question of 21 to 30, 31 to 40 and the likes so I'm just going to draw a table here So you are going to have uh, x a, which are all the data points that we are looking at, and we also have the frequency a. using the same color. Here. And then we also have the cumulative frequency. To estimate the median using the cumulative the interpolation formula, we only need these three values are uh, groups, the frequency of each group, and the cumulative frequency of each group. So using the class interval given to us, we're going to have the first class which is 21 to 30. 21 to 30, and then we are going to count the number of data points that falls in this category so counting this now I'm just pause this video a little bit to count each of the group and write their frequencies so just for the first one if I'm to count from 21 to 30 okay I have this 23 Going once again, I also have 26. So that is all that falls in between 21 to 30, and I will have this to be 2. So I'll just pause the video and run through each class and write out their frequencies. So I have all the frequencies of each group written out. All the numbers that falls in between the 21 to 40, there are 6 in numbers. 41 to 50, they are 9, 51 to 60, they are 9, 61 to 70, 11, and so on. So, again, to calculate and write out the cumulative frequency, I'm going to have this to be 2, which is the first term. The cumulative frequency of the second class will be the first class plus the second class. So, this is 8, 6 plus 2. Again, I'm going to keep on adding like that to get the cumulative frequency. So, 8 plus 9. This is 17. So I have next one, 17 plus 9. This is 26. Plus 11. I have 37. Plus 6, this is 43. This is 47. And I have 50. So I have my frequency and then the cumulative frequency. So I'm going to be using this table to estimate the median using the interpolation formula. So writing out our formula once again, I have that ME, which is the median, equal to L plus N over 2 minus f sub plus 3 over f sub plus m multiplied by the class size which is the w 
So to calculate this, I'm going to have ME, which is the median, equal to L. And from what we discussed initially, we have that our L is simply the lower boundary of the class containing the median. The lower boundary of the class containing the median. So how do we get the lower boundary of the class containing the median? So the first thing we have to find is to find the median class, the class that falls in the middle. And how can we do this? We simply look at our frequency and look at the class that falls in the middle. So there are different ways we can do this, but the fastest way I see is to look at the frequency and try to sum them up and look at the, the group that falls in the middle. So summing all this up, this is 17. And then I can start from behind also, trying to get the number that falls in the middle. So this is 13. Adding 17 plus 9, I'm going to have, if I add 17 plus 9, I'm going to have 28 here. Yeah? And if I add 11 to 13, I'm going to have 24 here. Yeah? So to get the middle, we can see that we have 24. Everything here is 24. And we also have 24 here. Yeah? Because we have 28. So leaving us with 4 more data data points. So therefore, our uh, median class falls in this class. So you have 28 because we can take 28, 24 in this direction, and then we also have 24 in this direction, leaving us with four groups down here. And the four groups falls in this group, which is 51 to 60. So we have a median class to be this class. So this is the median class. So after knowing the median class, we can now find our L. L which is simply the lower boundary of the of the median class. So this is the median class, our L. Our L is simply 50 0.5, which is the lower class boundary of the median class, 50.5. N, N is the total number of our frequency, and it can be easily gotten from the cumulative frequency. It's simply the last number that we have here. So this is N. N is 50. We also have FC. F of F sub C is the cumulative frequency of the class before the median class. Since we have this to be the median class, and this is the class before the median class. The cumulative frequency of this class is 17. So we have F subscript C to be 17. FM is the frequency of the median class. So this is the median class. The frequency here is 9 from what we wrote down initially. So we have F subscript M to be equal to 9. And we have the class width. The class width is simply the upper class boundary minus the lower class boundary. So class width is the same for all the class. And in this case, it's going to be, using the median class as an example, it's going to be 60.5 minus 50.5. And this equals to 10. So you have the width to be equal to 10. And then we can now insert all these into our formula. Again, I'm going to have ME equal to L in this case, which is 50.5 plus N 50 divided by 2 minus FC 17 over FM 9 multiplied by 10. So this is 50.5 plus 25 minus 19. Minus 17 divided by 9. So I have this to be 8 divided by 9 
times 10. So calculating this, I'm going to get Fifty-nine point four. So using the interpolation formula, we have estimated the median to be fifty-nine point four. So this simply we can use the interpolation formula to estimate the median. Don't forget the main formula is this, and we have what each term stands for. Yeah. So that's it. In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can estimate the mode using the interpolation formula. Thank you. Don't forget, if you find this tutorial useful, to subscribe, like, and share with anybody that's going to need it. See you in the next tutorial.